Alright, so I was listening to Meet Kevin last night and he was suggesting to some people to call to freeze their mortgages. This is my point. This is my view about freezing your mortgage. When you call a mortgage company and say you do everything that this guy, this one of these gurus was saying online, you call, you play the game, uh, you know, you you tell them that, uh, you know, you're, you're running out of income, but you still will be able to make your monthly payments and... It's just the sales tricks, the sales game. Dude, either you're honest or you're dishonest. In my opinion, there's just not um, middle ground when it comes down to some, uh, some things in life. You know, if you're, the reason why some mortgage companies have that option to freeze your mortgage payments is because there's people out there that truly need it. You know, now if you have an investment property, you have three, four, five, seven investment properties, uh, and you're making money out of them, dude. It's right, it's, you don't need to do that. Why would you play this game? But anyway, um, going back to temporarily freezing your mortgage, you know, I seen in the credit report for a lot of people that they say like, yes, um, this month the mortgage was late due to. A natural disaster. So you would think, well, you know, it says natural disaster. So a mortgage company must understand my situation. They must know about the coronavirus. They must know about the Hurricane Katrina. They must know about like this, the thing that happened. Well, it's true that they might not file for bankrupt. Uh, they might not file for foreclosure. They will still report you late, dude. In the moment that you're trying to improve your financial situation. They're one of the first things they're going to be looking at is going to be looking at your payment history. Mortgage companies will look at your payment history. That's probably one of the most important things. You can have an 800 credit score and you can have all the equity in the world. If you're late on your mortgage payments, you're jeopardizing any possibilities to refinance that mortgage. Therefore, to skip payments, therefore, to lower your interest rate, lower your monthly payments. And anyone, any any real estate guru that is preaching out there to skip your payments while having money just as a strategy to make more money, dude, that's just dishonest. And you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be t- telling people that it's okay to skip their mortgage payments when you, especially you watching this, don't know what that means. You're jeopardizing other people's financial situation just so you can get more subscribers and YouTube views and you can create these, uh, you know, these feelings of adrenaline inside of people's bodies so that you can, so they can love you more. Dude, that's just messed up. Anyway, that's my point. That's my opinion about it. I, I think that you should be very careful who you watch on YouTube and what advice you take. Because at the end of the day, dude, to do what's right is to do what's right. That's, that's, just, that's just how it is. Just think about the decision that you're making and think about it. Is this right? Is this something that I'm supposed to do? Does this follow my guidelines of my religions, my beliefs, my who I want to be as a person? And if it doesn't, you probably shouldn't do it, even if an expert real estate guru tells you that online. But what do you think? Thank you. Bye.